Saturday. Almost forgot the day. And we're getting ready to start our second day of the Fayetteville Tour 15. Today we're doing like museums and a little bit more getting to know the history of Fayetteville. But guess what we're ending the day with? The zip lining! Yes! And I can't wait to share it with you. I'm going to vlog all throughout the day. Talk to you later. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to check out of this gorgeous room that I had for the night thanks to Fayetteville Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. <laughs> um, check out this shower. I'm going to do the blog post, but this shower is type amazing. Seriously. Sorry for the no lights thing because I'm like literally walking out because we're getting ready to leave for the day. But um, just wanted to give you guys a quick glance and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're at the Airborne Museum and I this is actually the first, first museum we came to when we moved to Fayetteville. But they have what they call temporary exhibit, exhibits that they keep for like maybe six to nine months, maybe a year. But this temporary exhibit actually won like a really big award and this is it. And they recently won an award, so they've extended the length of this exhibit. So we're getting ready to go through and see this. I'll share with you guys some clips of it here and there. And then we're also going to go do um, a simulator ride. And I need to hit the gift shop because I love gift shops. And um, I forgot to take my picture with Iron Mike, but Iron Mike is out here as well. And this is the very original Iron Mike that used to be on Fort Bragg. They now have a newer version who it who he's bronze the new one on Fort Bragg and this is the original one they took him and moved him here and refurbished him so he's sitting out front all right let's get started okay so the amazing part of this exhibit is that they have actual items from the soldiers who were involved in these task forces and missions and it's just really moving especially as a military spouse and someone who knows that your husband is going through certain things and has been certain places but seeing it like this just makes it all the more real and because a lot of times you know soldiers aren't going to come home and tell you what they've been through but just seeing this stuff and the actual items from the soldiers and what they went through and how they had each other's back i'm going to insert an image um of a handwritten note from one sergeant to his team telling them that they were not going to leave them behind and that they were coming back for them and to me like I'm even getting a little bit emotional it's just really amazing how much our soldiers go through and how dedicated they are to the missions they have at hand and to the people and the brothers that they have standing next to them as they're going through all of this so um, this is just like a bit of an eye-opening moment I guess because it's just amazing the courage and the discipline and the just strength that they show is it's utterly amazing okay now we're in the walkthrough part of the museum this is the permanent area of the museum so like it's not a temporary exhibit and I'll just give you guys a couple of clips from in here Okay, so we just got finished getting a sneak peek at the new simulator ride and the current one. So um, I'm going to insert those for you guys so that you guys can get a taste of it. We're 
we're headed off to our next place. But we may not get to zip line today because they do it, she said, in like misty rain, but not like pouring rain. And it seems to just be getting progressively worse. So we may not get to, but she said they would reschedule us. So if they do that, then we'll do it still. But I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, we're getting ready to go see the EA Po House, which I just had to ask like three times because I'm crazy like that. And as you can see, I have pulled out my favorite hoodie ever because it is raining and yucky and bleh. But we're going to make a run for it and I'm going to try to show you guys as much of it as possible. Talk to you in a few. 12 feet high upstairs are 11. Now, since the Victorians believe that only God can make anything perfect, everything in there, something somewhere in their house was not perfect. In this house, it happens to be the two spindles up here in the, in the middle. You well, see, they're different. Upside, yeah. That way, they're, it's not a perfect house. Oh, okay. I've been on this tour many times and I never heard that, so that's cool. Oh, that is interesting. That's Did I do the tour? No. Uh -huh. okay. We, all, we all do them different. Oh, okay. Everybody does their little tours different. Okay, so we're doing a tour of the Poe House, and it's not Edgar Allan Poe, the writer. It's actually um, Poe. He was a brick maker here in Fayetteville, and this house is absolutely amazing. I wish I could just record the entire tour, but that would be a little difficult. But check this out. They had two sets of stairs. One set was for servants, and one set was for, like, family and stuff, so. But it's kind of cool. Okay, so we're at Luigi's for lunch today before we go do the whole, hopefully we'll, you said we should still be able to do zip lines? Yeah, they'll do it in the rain. Okay, so we are doing zip lines. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad about that, but we're going to do it, but we're eating first. Not sure if that's not a good idea either, <laughs> but um, it's Italian cuisine, so I'm totally stoked and excited. I'm having penne vodka and I can't wait to taste it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, guys, so we are leaving Luigi's. Food was awesome, but check out this wall they have of wine bottles. How awesome is that? Kind of cool, right? I dig it. I had penny vodka and I'm stuffed. But now we're going to zip line and yeah, I'm excited, nervous, all the above. But um, they say we might not be able to tape. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to figure something out. Even if it's um, maybe renting like a helmet camera or something, if they offer that, I'm not sure. But I'm going to try to share as much as possible with you guys, all right? Talk to you in a bit. Wish me luck. Hey guys, we're on our way to go zip lining. The rain has actually let up and it seems like it stopped just in time for us to do the zip line thing. Um, we're on the bus and this is the funny part all of us just finished searching our cameras because while we were at the po house the woman told us about a little girl who had been seen like a ghost story and so when we got out she said check your photos and see if you see any images in there and let us know crystal checked some of her pictures and there is a reflection of a woman in one of the mirrors that does not it looks like a period dressed woman and it was none of us and it was nobody who was in the house and it's just so weird so make sure to go over the crystals fan page army wife 101 on facebook and she posted it and see if you can see the reflection it's really cool i didn't get any i checked my camera i don't see any and deborah and angie are checking their pictures and so far um deborah thinks she has one that may have a reflection but it's just really weird like we met the supernatural today <laughs> But um, I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
Okay, guys. I'm so shocked and amazed at myself because I did the whole zip line thing. I think it was eight canopies and three spiral staircases. And I have a fear of heights, so this is like a major thing for me. I was just determined to do it because I had seen zip lining on TV and um, like the real world challenges. And I was always like, I so want to do that. I so want to do it. I did it. Check it out. I did it, guys. I completed it and I... I still can't believe I did it um so stay tuned I'm gonna end this vlog for today but stay tuned for the post of everything that we did this weekend I'm probably gonna break it into a series because we just did a lot and it's like way too much to pack into one blog post um, but also stay tuned for the vlogs that are gonna go up so check those out and I will see you guys tomorrow for um, well, no. Well, for Veda. You can check me out tomorrow for Veda. But um, as far as a regular vlog, I'm trying to recover from everything we did this weekend tomorrow. But I'll see you guys later, okay? Smooches. Mm -hmm.